It's the basic screen of the app showing your contact information, the current balance, your last transaction entry, your salary growth rate, and your retirement projection. Then there's the employment history at the bottom of the screen. Now, uh, just to show you the main menu, as I go to the main menu, I can access my e-statement, shows my contributions, I can keep scrolling as far back as I need to go. And then, I can do payments for voluntary contributors, whether it's an individual voluntary contributor or a voluntary employer. Okay, both options are catered for. But then you can also see our contributions payment history. If you've made any payments, whether it's as an individual or as an employee, you can see them here. And then we have our update contacts option. If you need to maybe update your phone number or your email address, you can use this feature. It will use your NSSF number, date of birth, father's surname and mother's surname to validate your record. And the records that are actually getting updated are the phone number and the email address. We also have the view updates feature. This one allows you to see any news that we might um, publish regarding the app. We also have the contact my RM feature, which will link you to the contact of the relationship manager that is attached to your current employer. You can either send them an email or give them a call in their official phone contact. Okay. And there are a number of other features. You can decide to add an extra layer of security in the app, saying you lock your app with a pin. So I can set up a four-digit pin, so every time I access the app, I authenticate via pin. Yeah. You can locate the nearest branches to where you are. In case you go into a district and you need to access one of our branches, you can use the branch locator which will show you where our branches are. Or from your current location, you can even select this to show you the nearest branches using Google Maps. Okay. That is our branch locator. And a number of other features. It can take you back to the traditional uh, USSD-based transaction feature. You can do SMS um, transaction. You can do SMS social to access any of our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, or our YouTube channel. Okay. Then, just finally, you can reset the app. That is to clear your login session so that you're able to either re-log in or log in afresh. Those are the key features of the app. The employment history is down here. And it shows you the total amount contributed at each employee. Sorry, at each employee. You can search for a specific employer. This is because there are few, so I don't need to use the search feature, but if there are very many employers, I could search for a particular employer. Yeah. That is the app in a nutshell.